Good evening and welcome to Canyons News. I'm Matt Frieda. Tonight, we'll discuss a local Girl Scouts troop effort to support the family of a murder victim, the reopenings of your favorite local restaurants, and tell you about the best kept secret of Santa Carita found in the Courtyard Marriott Hotel. Canyons News starts now. With news from across the Santa Clarita Valley, this is Canyons News. Once again, I'm Matt Frieda. Well, after a murder that hit close to home, a local Girl Scouts troop took it upon themselves to partner with Firehouse Subs to hold a fundraiser for the victim's son. Here with the story is Isabel Mendez. On April 15th, early Thursday morning, a Saugus mother of three was stabbed to death in her home, according to the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department Homicide Bureau. The victim was Michelle Dorsey. Prior to her dying, she made a uh, what we call a dying declaration and identified her estranged husband as the uh, person who had attacked her. And uh, he's identified as James Matthew Dorsey. When the deputies arrived, there were three children in the house. Uh, they did not witness the incident, nor were they harmed. Michelle left behind three boys, which sparked a desire for a local Girl Scouts troop to step up and create a fundraiser along with Firehouse Subs to raise money for the victim's family. I felt a connection. Um, I'm a mom, and so my heart just went out to the family. They live only a couple miles, or they used to live a couple miles from where we, we currently live. We heard the helicopters, and just putting myself in that position of, gosh, what if that was us? The girls, along with the troop leaders, got to work right away decorating posters for the fundraiser they held a few weeks after the murder. We were trying to decide on a silver award um, project that we could do, and we read the story, and we just thought that we like wanted to help them out. In total, over $4,000 was raised, and the Santa Clarita Coalition is putting the money towards getting the boys a new vehicle that they can travel in with family. They helped to bring the community together because a lot of people came and donated to the Dorsey family. So, just, it's amazing. For Canyons News, I'm Isabel Mendez. The coronavirus pandemic shut down indoor dining all across the country, and Starbucks was no exception to the rule. But now, as the number of vaccinated people increases, restaurants are slowly reopening their doors. I had a chance to sit down with Starbucks HR rep, and Santa Clarita resident Francesca Rotella to find out how Starbucks plans to reopen its indoor dining. The Starbucks Corporation has built its brand on personal connections with its customers. Asking for a customer's name and providing them with quality service has been a long-standing virtue of the corporation. But when the coronavirus shutdown began, Starbucks was faced with a problem. I think something that we really had to come to terms with was closing our doors to our favorite customers and really not being able to supply the same hospitality that Starbucks has come and grown into as a corporation. Francesca Rotella is a Starbucks HR representative that lives and oversees the stores in Santa Clarita. She says that the pandemic was a difficult adjustment period for the company. No longer could a friendly Starbucks barista greet customers by name with their favorite drink memorized, ready in hand. That was really tough and moving from that sort of whole world that how we treat our customers to a whole different type of distance and that was a really hard transition. Despite that, Starbucks was able to make the proper adjustments through the pandemic. In fact, Starbucks saw an increased number of drive through customers, a strategy that they plan to utilize in the future. As hard as it, as it is to say that there have been benefits from the pandemic, I think a lot of learning has happened and something that we really noticed was our drive through the traffic in our drive through has grown exponentially and we have been trying to keep up with it just because people have chosen to, instead of coming inside, going through the drive through there's less contact, they get to stay in the safety of their cars. And um, I think even, even past the pandemic, once we are totally over this, this hunch, hopefully soon, um, we hope to really be supporting our drive through and sending a lot more attention there. Now, as the number of vaccinated people increases, Francesca says that she and Starbucks are eager to welcome back their loyal customers. We're just so ready for everyone. We want it to obviously 
come back as as normal as we can and we want everyone to hang out for hours and come do their work and use our wi-fi and just hang out get have, have relationships with our employees again and um, we're just super excited. So if you feel ready to return to indoor dining, Starbucks is ready to welcome you back. With Canyons News, I'm Matt Frieda. And last, the Courtyard by Marriott brand has a little-known in-house restaurant chain called The Bistro. While the Courtyard Valencia had to close during the peak of the pandemic, they have reopened and once again are serving the public. Here's Ben Marino with the story. There's a little known gem located where the I-5 and 126 freeways meet. It's called the Bistro, and it's the in-house restaurant of the Courtyard Inn by Marriott located in Valencia, California. The pandemic hit the restaurant hard and had to close from March 2020 to June 2020 while the hotel stayed in operation. In July 2020, the breakfast was back open, serving to-go orders only, followed by a similar to-go format for the dinner hours in October 2020. Along the way, the restaurant has followed and enforced all county's COVID-19 safety mandates and policies. Bartender Maggie Seelock has some insight on the restaurant's progress. So now it's getting busy and um, we still don't have a lot of COVID staff. We're, we don't have a lot of staff due to COVID, so it's a little harder, but we're getting there and we're um, ready for all of y'all to come say hi. Since last fall, the Bistro has been open every day of the week, serving breakfast from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. and dinner from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. and also offers Starbucks coffee 24 hours a day. My favorite Bistro items would be the um, caramel macchiato. I usually drink those religiously because I work overnight, so I really need some hard shots of coffee. Um, usually for breakfast, I get the uh, breakfast burrito. That's a classic one. If not, I usually get the um, Bistro breakfast sandwich. And then for dinner, if I do um, work the regular shifts, I get the um, vegetable pasta and I usually add chicken to it. <laughs> A highlight for most guests and locals who visit is the full wine, beer, and cocktail bar. The dress code is casual and the motto is the Bistro. Eat, drink, connect. And that'll do it for this edition of Canyons News. From all of us here, Ben Marino, Isabel Mendez, I'm Matt Frieda. Thank you for tuning in, and stay classy, Santa Corita.